Good afternoon, Mr. Dean. Uh, today, I'm gonna sharing about experience in what I learned from uh, from my internship. Uh, I was I was selected in the Intercontinental Kuala Lumpur and the front office department as a telephone operator. To start with my presentation, uh, let's start with introduction. A short, brief uh, introduction about the Intercontinental Kuala Lumpur. Intercontinental, uh, Intercontinental Kuala Lumpur is a grand, luxurious five-star hotel uh, in Kuala Lumpur. And with the 473 rooms and including 110 newly renovated grand premier rooms and uh, it's formerly known as the Nico Hotel and later on 2002 uh, it's established in Kuala, Kuala Lumpur and uh, in 1946, Joan Trippe was the founder of the Pan America Airlines, uh, who had the founder, who was the founder of the Intercontinental Hotels Corporation. Uh, until today, Intercontinental uh, Kuala Lumpur, uh, uh, Intercontinental hotels have uh, have over 180 hotels and uh, resort in more than 65 countries all over the world. And so more than 70 years, they are, they are writing their story uh, through the guests in all over the world. Next, let's talk about the location. Uh, it's situated in 165 Jalal Ampang, Kuala Lumpur. And it's situated in the heart of the city in Kuala Lumpur. And it's just only two minute, uh, two minute walk away from the Jalal Ampang uh, railway LRT station, uh, which means the easy accessible transport, transportation to the hotel. And five minutes walk from the uh, Petronas Twin Towers. And three kilometers away from the famous Bukit Bintang. And 50 kilometers drive away uh, from the Kuala Lumpur International Airport KLI A uh, KLI A1 and KLI uh, KLI two, A2 and 33 minutes ride with the KLI A Airport Express train uh, which need to uh, trans uh, which need to uh, take the another LRT station from the KL Central and. Intercontinental Hotel and Resorts. Currently, the, uh, the Intercontinental Kuala Lumpur Hotel is under the IHG company, which is Intercontinental Hotel Group. And currently, they are having uh, under this company, uh, they have they have the eleven properties, which is like Intercontinental Kuala Lumpur and uh, Intercontinental Hotels and Resorts, Holiday Inn, Holiday Inn Express, and uh, the Howlexy Hotel Indigo, Evan Hotel, Stray Bridge, Candlewood. Uh, uh, and they have the expanded into over 60 countries in every corner of the world. Next. So now talking about the intercontinental brand promises. So uh, their promises towards to their uh, guests and all over the world is their service style. It's the only one thing which makes them different and extraordinary compared to their competitors. And uh, people, uh, the guests of the intercontinental continental know them for their services. And it's about each and every hotel uh, and uh, resort giving an interway to the intercontinental life. Next. Intercontinental vision and ambition. And uh, Intercontinental has several vision and ambition. From uh, there is a uh, five. They are most uh, mostly highlighting uh, those five are to be great brand in all of the uh, hotel market and to be a great people's uh, to be a great people's to the guests and the great to creating the great values among the. Uh, among the guests who, who are staying with them and the great ways of working and to, one, uh, to become a, one of the world's greatest company in uh, hotel uh, hotel market and their basic vision and uh, ambition is to be uh, to creating the guest guest love uh, great hotels with the guest love Moving to the Intercontinental Goal, uh, Intercontinental Hotel uh, Group is a tremendous cycle of goal every spare in all over the world. The main goal of his company is to provide uh, provide an intercontinental life. To uh, specific this intercontinental life, what they mean actually with the intercontinental life is uh, to provide the luxurious and customized service for the guest it's deserved because the guest is de deserved and uh, to and ensure the continent of making history uh, leaving the memories to the guests while they are staying with intercontinental uh, hotel and resort 
So, uh, when we are talking about the ISG's brand uh, aviation's goals and uh, and uh, their purposes, and they are they are committed they are committed towards the, their uh, colleagues who, who are the who are the uh, colleagues are working with them. They have the uh, few several opportunities for the colleagues, and uh, they made there some categories. Uh, for this, uh, they are making some spotlights for, for their colleagues. It's room to have a great start. They believe, uh, they believe everyone ha will be treated treated with respect because they deserve, and they will take care, taken care uh, of, and they will have their open uh, open uh, uh, sharing thoughts with the, its company and room to be involved. Uh, second is room to be involved. Everyone will have the opportunity to work uh, uh, work with the great teams in the hotel environment and room to grow. Where every everyone uh, will have the opportunity. Uh, so everyone will have the support. If everyone will be supported, supported and given opportunity to explore themselves and uh, and develop themselves in uh, towards the working environment and room for you. Uh, everyone will be rewarded. Uh, uh, based on their performance and their, uh, uh, their the, based on their performance and recognized for their contribution in all over among the uh, colleagues. Let's look about the organization uh, chart intercontinental Kuala Lumpur. Uh, here you can see the general manager. His name is Anit Patak. is a great a great man who is leading from the front. And uh, hotel manager. His name is Jobs Har. And uh, rest of them is uh, our we had we had like uh, HR HR department head and front of his JTO who has been ex uh, extraordinary to uh, with us and who have given uh, properly take care of us and uh, and the rest of them are the different department head. Front of his department. Uh, so what we know about the front of his department is the nerve center of the hotel uh, where uh, the guest life uh, guest cycle is happening uh, meaning to say that uh the until the greet the guest at the uh, at the very beginning, uh, creating impression on the guest uh, till the luggage carry, then checking uh, checking help to checking process, and until uh, then printing the keys and until the departure, and uh, the, the person who is involved are front office department employees. So m uh, members of the front office staff welcome the guest basically and uh, finally they help them to take them out and uh, help them to uh, and uh, help them uh, if the guests have any questions about the hotel activities they also help them to be uh, find it out and the front of his department comprises of all the of the receptions guest service uh, guest service office bell service operators and executive club and etc so now I'm talking about the system they are using in the front desk, uh, the front desk department. Uh, as I was working in the instant service, which is like a telephone operator, uh, I have seen some uh, uh, so system they are using. Uh, is one of Opera system is one of them, and Opera system of hotel is the property management system, as we know. And operation Opera has the benefit, uh, given the benefit to the hotel property to create any profile for the case uh, which including the uh, staff tracking of the uh, like they can track with the opera they can track the guest uh, details uh, like such as like any likings any preferences etc uh, <coughs> stuff can be useful details such as stay history and the past experience with the hotel and the previous service requested and inform their approach to each guest Next system they are using for the telephone operator is called the hospitality console uh, operator console. It's uh, they use actually their PVX through uh, FCS gateway technology and which is actually the control related with the Opera system. Uh, actually, the meaning to say that like uh, the Opera system is also included there. So whenever we uh, we uh, I as the operator when I used to use this ap uh, application, I, I was able to see the room number and the guest name. So we it's it was was very helpful for us to greet the guest with their name and we can uh, we can see the guest 
uh, room number as well from there. And this console system uh, we usually use to uh, receive any internal calls and as well the external calls. And this uh, this system, uh, the benefit of this system, it uh, the history of the calling data logs we can see from this system. So in future, if there anything goes the vital, we can refer for that that system. The next system they are using, the escape system. Basically, the escape system provides an online uh, online preventive maintenance software. So the escape system that we used is basically for the guest, uh, once the guest requested for anything, and uh, we just key in the room number according to the room number, and it's automatically allocated to the accurate department. And the, they, uh, there is also mentioned the uh, uh, specific time, so it's better, it, it was easy for us to uh, uh, retracking re back to see the whether the task is completed or not. And this escape system is also included with the Opera system, uh, so which which help us to uh, uh, which helped us to uh, effectively managing and sustaining the hotel's assets and properties. Next thing is room service. As a uh, as a standard of the ISG uh, brand, uh, the uh, telephone operator was also re uh, responsibility for the room service. Uh, this room service is basically for the in room uh, in room house guest uh, dining area, uh, dining menus, uh, and this room service menu is included with the several uh, categories of the menu. One is the breakfast menu, lunch lunch menu, healthy menu, kids menu, and club lunch menu, and 24 hours menu as also available and this room menu actually can be found inside the guest room so uh, if they have, if any guest wanted to be uh, have any food orders and services they uh, they had to call uh, through the telephone operator next is uh, next i'm talking about our duty roster and the duty roster is actually uh, this is the picture of the uh, sample of our duty roster uh, while i was working the duty roster is basically the change every one week and a proper rotation uh, according to the uh, system is followed and i used to get one day off in every week and uh, and equally interval of the public holidays uh, are provided as well Next, I'm talking about the training duties and responsibilities that I used to do as a trainee in Intercontinental Kuala Lumpur at the fire front desk uh, as a telephone operator. So the definition of the telephone operators is also known as a switchboard operators or telephonists. Uh, at the point of view, the, they are the point of the view of the contact for the uh, uh, incoming calls or direct calls to the uh, to appropriate person and department at the correct outgoing. Uh, correct outgoing calls where uh, in where we uh, as a telephone operator I as a telephone operator I used to tra uh, transfer the calls according to the departments and uh, uh, as well as we used to make the calls for the guest also like uh, international calls or the local calls and there was a certain uh, there was a specific amount of charges for the every calls also next thing uh, next thing I'm continuing about the uh, the task I used to do as a telephone operator is the first of all we used to greet the guests using the local uh, greetings to highlight the local culture to the uh, guests we actually use the local greetings as the uh, SOP of the uh, intercontinental Kuala Lumpur. And the second thing is the contact the basic questions and the requirements uh, of the guest. Uh, it's like the the in-house guests have the any requirements or anything we have to as a telephone operator we have to the follow up all the things and the, as uh, the common thing is the pick up telephones take, mes take messages and divert the calls to sustainable workplace and uh, next thing is uh, uh, I as a telephone operator uh, arrange uh, used to arrange and keep keep up the documents uh, and records in the system through the opera or the escape depends on the uh, requirements and then next things we used to do as a uh, checking and assisting guest in business center uh, while i was uh, i joined in a intercontinental as in a front desk and a front desk uh, though i was a intern uh, i was in, i was working in state service as a telephone operator but i i was been transferred in the business as a business center attendant 
for the um, 20 days. It was from the 7th February until 27th February. I was working there and while I was working there, I used to assist the guest for the printing uh, as well scanning the documents and help them to using the intercontinental Wi-Fi. And uh, next things, uh, next thing I, I was transferred to the lost and found department where I used to managing the lost and found items, items of the guests that guests left during the checkout and uh, and the next things was uh, keeping tracking of the items loaned to guests while the relevant uh, with the relevant details and in house guests from the room service and another thing is arranging the shuttle service. Uh, Intercontinental have the shuttle service which usually goes from the Intercontinental to KLCC and KLCC to Pavilion. So as I I, I was spoken uh, I have spoken about my responsibilities and tasks. Now I will briefly show you uh, briefly talk something about my responsibilities and as well I will show some pictures that I was working in there. Uh, this is the guest tracking sheet. This sheet as an operator, uh, we used to keep the notes of the requirements. You will see there is a column of the room number, case name, and as well as the time. Uh, the specific time, we easily, the follow-up times, we, uh, as intercontinental, they used to follow as 15 minutes for the follow-up uh, calls. So, uh, they easily make sure that every guest have uh, have received their that they are requesting for. And this is the uh, picture of the guest tracking sheet. And next thing I want to show about the lost and found departments. Uh, in lost and found department, basically they have the a standard of the procedure is uh, the normal items used to keep uh, we revert back to the guest once we got the call from the guest uh, within 24 hours. But except the available items such as like uh, wallet, laptop, passport, those emergency things, they uh, they had the. They used to keep the time so within two or three hours we revert back to the guest and uh, this is also the responsibility for I as a uh, instant service employee and we were responsibly, uh, responsible for the lost and found items and uh, return it back to uh, return it back safely to the guest. As I was spoken about the business center attended, the, the business center in Intercontinental, it operates for the 24 hours and it's actually the complimentary for the in-house guest. But uh, meeting uh, who the, the guests who have the meeting in Intercontinental Kuala Lumpur, if they want to use any printing uh, miscellaneous uh, items in there, they have, uh, they have to pay the certain amounts. Such as example, for the um, uh, A4 black and size paper, uh, the Intercontinental charge 4 ringgit 40 cent uh, and black and white printing and the color print they used to charge 10 ringgit 10 cent. So it, it was the complimentary for the in-house guests but for the meeting guests it was chargeable. For the room service, uh, as I have sh uh, I have shown you previously, that uh, we have the menu of the uh, depends on the every categories. So we used to use the infrasis system. In this infrasis system is connected with our F and B department. And uh, once I was asked about, uh, I asked to my manager about that the infrasis system. And this it is the it, it was it is the standard of the ISG system. So. As an instant service operator, we had to take the orders and through the inferences, we transfer those orders to the FNB department. And this is the track sheet of the room service while I was taking the order. At the guest loan department, uh, I was responsible for the guest loan as well. Uh, in guest loan, in hotel, the loan items or service is necessary for the guests. As we know, the loan items are basically uh, the chargers, chargers, adapter, waste, extension cord, etc. But this loan at depart uh, this loan department, we were responsible for to give loan to the other department as well. Uh, here, I have say given the form the way the procedure of the giving loans the form so we can track it back whether our items have been given as a loan and we can take it back uh, at, the, at the period of time so this is the example uh, this guest loan document we actually give loan to the not only guests and the department as well here i have seen uh, shown as an example that we have given the sdm cable uh, to the club launch uh, uh, club launch flow 
next thing is SWOT analysis okay this SWOT analysis I have made by debate on my only uh, sections which is instant service uh, this SWOT analysis is not based on the whole uh, a whole hotel so the as an extent of the SWOT analysis is a way of motivation the way of motivation is actually uh, the way they greet their colleagues since uh, you enter to the workplace until you go back with the uh, great working memories it's actually such a great motivation as a for me I was also motivated which is to uh, encourage me to ne next day to come to for the work and the second thing is brand. This is the ISD is a, uh, in internationally as a brand, which is strength for them. And the positions, uh, position of the position as a strength is like they are located, as I mentioned before, the, they are located in the heart of the city. And uh, the famous KLCC tower also beside uh, it's near to them. So the position could be a strength and a great workplace. The there was actually no differences between the uh, new colleagues and the senior colleagues. So which thing, which things I feel like it, it was a strength for them to me uh, as as me for the work with them as a trainee. And the weaknesses, absence of experience with the intercontinental Kuala Lumpur. Why I put this one as a weakness is uh, when when I joined, I have seen uh, in my particular section I have seen the department head have been changed for twice uh, the, during my orientation I have seen uh, all the department's head was none of them was is more than one year's experience with the intercontinental Kuala Lumpur so I, what I feel it was like the lackings for them weaknesses for them and the th so second thing is lack of following standard of procedure they have the SOP which I have got since I joined in the insurance service department but I have seen none of them was following the standard of the procedure. Second thing is lack of management. As I spoken with you just now, that uh, the management level was none of them was more than one year experience with the intercontinental. So the management system was uh, there was a bit lack of the management system. Uh, lack of technology de of development. According uh, to talk about that, we are the one who will be using the hospitality console the system, and that was uh, that was not uh, up to date because we can only track that uh, the call logs and history, but we cannot uh, re re listen all these video audio calls, which I think is the vital when it comes the any okay uh, any situation any bad situation, and the opportunity location itself as a uh, 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 opportunity and the staff. They have the given the staff as a uh, some training opportunities such as like recently when I was working they have uh, listed that I was also applied for that. Uh, the, there is a, a program called Be a True Leader uh, under the ISG where they have they give their colleagues to be uh, they give their staff. Uh, as a training for the 12 months and build make them as a true leader for in future. So this is the opportunity for this stuff and the global growth and ISG is uh, spreading all over the world so it's an opportunity for the anyone and the skills. This opportunity they ha they have as I have shown you the they have the sub spotlight for the uh, colleagues so this training skills can be an opportunity for them. And traders, competitors as a traders, it's next to them have the W hotel and the hotel itself have the technologies more advanced so it could be a threat for them and no regular supply of innovative products uh, for that I will say why I put as a threat tra uh, I have seen when while I was making uh, requesting for the new miscellaneous but I have found after I requesting two weeks and then that time I had some uh, tough situation with the handling the guest in business center so I was not getting the proper supplies from the uh, hotel authority in the correct time and then another thing is guest service and facilities complaint or tip advisor the most of uh, I have seen a lot of actually the feedback about the air conditioner problem in the room and the uh, minibar problem in the room so that could be a threat for them as everything we can see any good or bad things we can see in the uh, on social media next achievement okay do, to talk about the achievement I have become uh, to say these things uh, it's first achievement is for me to I I was like familiar with the uh, work in the real life uh, real hotel world and then I have learned many new things and I learned how to do work under pressure or uh, 
and I have become comfortable with speaking with the different uh, different cultures, people, and uh, during this internship there are many personal achievements. But most of uh, one of the most important for me to get that I got the uh, review from the guest in uh, Trip Advisors. Here is the review in here. Next things about the problem face, uh, faced during the internship. I will say in a short, though the problem was not a big deal, uh, but well, it was uh, it was starting for me. Uh, as I mentioned that since I joined, there was twice already uh, section head was changed. So I was I was uh, I was learning through the different person and the way of the different person working was also different. So it was a bit confused for me. But later I will cope up with my uh, I cope up somehow. And then uh, secondly, oh, it was the my duty manager was she was quite ignorable person. She used to uh, uh, pass her works to the uh, other persons, uh, which was little bit annoying for me. But later on, I lastly I and there was. Uh, lastly, there was not enough uh, permanent staff, especially in the instant service department. Sometimes they keep changing at the last moment. They keep changing the duty roster at the last moment. So it was a big problem for me, but I was, mani uh, I was somehow managed. The last thing in a conclusion, so the report basically covers experience of my own inter uh, my whole internship and the way of learning which I achieved while I was working there. And I would like to thanks to all the intercontinental uh, employees who were uh, so generous with me and who helped me a lot. And I learned a lot of things over my changing shifts and uh, I learned like I made myself every time to work with the environment and those uh, those. Those experiences I think will help me in future when I will work. And lastly, what I learned from the uh, from my internship is work better together. Thank you.